in today's video, we're going to show you how to do the subtractive method. We're going to end up with the same shape here we ended up with in the first video. But in the first video, we made this larger piece here and added this second piece. Today, in the subtractive method, we're going to cut out all these pieces that you see missing, like this block right here and everything else that would surround this block. So we're going to come up here to iPro and we're going to select New, Standard.IPT. And we're going to create our sketch. Okay. And of course, we choose the X and Y. Now, if you have a piece of paper in front of you that shows these models, you'll know that this is a rectangle that is two and a quarter inch by one and a half inch. So we're going to select rectangle, put it here on the center point. Our top number there is going to be 2.25. 2.25. And our height on the other side is going to be 1.5. So 1.5. Remember to hit tab to go between those. So 2.25 and 1.5. Hit enter. And there is our rectangle. And this is going to have a depth of one and a half inches. So if we finish this sketch, we're going to extrude that 1.5 inches. If you remember in the additive method, we extruded twice at 0.75. So if you add those up, that's where we get the 1.5. All right, so we've got a large block here, but we're going to now subtract some pieces out of it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw that same 0.75 square down here in this corner. So we're going to click Create 2D Sketch. Click this front face right here. And we're going to select Rectangle. And we're going to start down here in the center point. We're going to click and drag up and to the right. 0.75, tab 0.75. Enter. And there's our square. We're going to finish the sketch. Now, we're not going to extrude this piece out. We're going to cut all the rest of this stuff away. So we're going to extrude and select the shape outside of the square. So don't click in the square. Click outside. And we're not going to direction have come toward us. We're going to switch to direction two. But we don't want to cut the whole thing. We only want to cut half of it. So point. 7, 5. So make sure you switch to direction 2 and 0.75. Click OK. And if you look back here at our first piece, there's that little square left. There's that little square left again. Now, if you remember back here on this first piece, we also had a square cut out of this piece up here. So we're going to do that with this piece as well. We're going to draw another 0.75 square. But we're going to draw it in the upper right corner what's left of that front face. So if you click on Create 2D Sketch, you click on this front face right here, we're going to draw a square up here in this corner. So rectangle, start here at this upper right corner, click, drag down to the left, 0.75, tab, 0.75, enter, finish the sketch. Now we're going to cut this piece away. So we're going, to, we're going to click on Extrude. We're going to click on the square. And we're going to turn it to Direction 2. And cut this piece all the way out. 0.75 or you can select All. That's basically the same thing. And you click OK. And now we end up with the exact same piece from the Additive method. Just drawn a different way. So this is the Subtractive method. You can save that if you would like. I didn't show you in the first video how to save. iPro, save as. Make sure you select your network drive. Find the folder that you made. Okay, so I can put that here in the PLTW folder. And click save. Well, you might want to give it a name first. You can call it sub method or additive method, whichever. This is the subtractive method video, but uh, whatever you want to call it here. And click save. And that's it.